Hey guys, so are you in the mood for a that guy thread? Because we got one. <laughs> Let's get into it. That guy who played a giant character in a pirate crew showed up in a port on an island of nothing but other pirates and thieves. Party needed basic essentials, food and water. That guy and a couple of others head into town to find out from NPCs that the various pirates that happen through usually sell decent supplies. That guy and a couple of others head over to the port and start chatting up some pirates. First guy wanted literally millions for a few barrels of shitty wine. Second guy doesn't have supplies but offers us a box. Says they looted the box in their last raid but they can't open it. Mm. If we can open it, we can keep it. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know how much I would cost that. I don't know. A DM giving you, here's a box. Um, Work away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I don't know. Maybe my paranoia is kicking in too much. Another party member opens the box with ease to find the 17th century equivalent of a dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> Beast. <laughs> that guy gets salty, heads back to the pirate ship, pulls a seal off the ship, folds it together and knots the corners together to form a rough sack. <laughs> Shit's in it. Uses the seal as a slingshot and slingshots several hundred pounds worth of giant shit onto Dick Pick's box pirate ship. <laughs> Dick Pick box, box pirate ship and part of the docks is fucking buried. Party is disgusted yet amazed. It was me. <laughs> Would you believe it if I said we gained a follower from this? Honestly, like, pretty a, based. That's, that's, that's quality. That's quality. That's quality that, okay. revenge. Okay, sometimes it's okay to be that guy. Yeah. Sometimes it's perfectly acceptable, you know? Once again, James justifying. Like, it's perfect. Like, it, like, if you got killed, there's all two guards. <laughs> exactly. I think that's the way you should put it down to. Start a campaign set in a feudal Japan fantasy setting. <sighs> <laughs> that's your first problem. To be fair, no, to be fair, actually, Teal and uh, Nick are starting up a... What do you call that game? Seven Wins or whatever? I've never heard of it. Is it oh, you? yeah, it's a, it's a set in feudal Japan. It does sound pretty cool, but I don't have the time to join up. <laughs> don't have the time. Don't <laughs> it. <laughs> does sound pretty interesting, though. So, start a campaign set in feudal Japan fantasy setting after playing Neo and Shakiro. PCs are a dishonored lieutenant trying to gain the favor of his lord, a ninja trainee turned occultist a Buddhist monk hired by the lieutenant to help him exercise spirits, and a gunpowder-loving merchant who scammed a demigod without knowing and is now cursed. Wait, that, uh, that, 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 that's fucking... Uh, that's Princess Mononoke right there. <laughs> I've, seen the, I, I've seen that one before. <laughs> that guy joins. Wants to play an Naruto tier <laughs> overpowered ninja. Explain to him that this is not exalted and the characters are a bit more grounded. But but he's playing a ninja occultist. We spend almost a whole hour explaining that his occult powers are basically just mild divination. Being able to speak with yokai. Not uh, necessarily making them his friends or anything. And the blessing of a fire spirit that manifests as a bonus to all damage he deals with fire, explosives or firearms. That just sounds like a warlock to me. Yeah. Fine, I'll just play a normal ninja instead. His... Normal ninja apparently can produce shadow clones. <laughs> not illusions, not NPCs disguised as himself, just Naruto's shadow clones that are perfectly solid. Explains that an ability like that could be learned in the future, but right now there's nothing in his character sheet about it. Basically in every encounter he tries to pull some anime shit, and I either have to explain to him that he can't do that, or punish his character for being a retard. Good. <laughs> the party miraculously makes it to a big encounter against a scary spellcasting Oni. Lieutenant dies, gun merchant gets his leg cut off. By this point the ninja had befriended a band of nature spirits and he managed to hold the Oni down for the monk to start sealing prayer. That guy pulls a nothing personal kid <laughs> and backstabs the monk. Why though? <laughs> Why? Honestly though, I see that as the only good reason to pray like a feudal Japan setting is so you can say nothing personal kid after every <laughs> every, uh, every, encounter. every encounter <laughs> like if you're not saying it after every encounter what's the point you know why though um, it was part of my plan from the very beginning to test my powers against my former allies we all look at each other baffled and disgusted at his stupidity we're not gonna humour your bullshit ma'am ninja's turn he bails out and manages to escape merchant's turn he puts his matchlock in his mouth and fires. <laughs> Oni's turn. Now, I'm just tired and want 
to end this idiocy. So I just have the monster set the place on fire to kill that guy. He tries to pull shit out of nowhere. Replace- <laughs> Replacement jiu-jitsu, he never learned it. I just- I use the corpse of the monk to cover myself. The corpse is also consumed by the flames. I use the souls of my former friends too. You never learn anything remotely similar. <laughs> He bitches for over 30 minutes about not being fair and how we should have adapted to his idiotic betrayal, claiming he did it to spice up the game. We outright tell him he won't be invited to the next game. (laughs) He storms out, shit talks us on social media, and claims we don't know anything about actual ninjas. ninjas. (laughs) You know, this is a really common one on thread. A lot of the time I find they want to have this super duper Marcy character right at the bat. Yeah. I think, like, you know, okay, if we're going to use 5th edition for an example, I'm okay with starting level 3 or level 5, because then that gives you, like, a good, solid base, base. for, like, a build. Yeah. And, like, you know... And it's easier to build encounters, right? Yeah. 3 and 5 than 1. Yeah. And, like, you know, and then, say, once you do actually hit that level 20, yeah. and if your DM's cool with it, then you can maybe have your bullshit demon powers, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Something like this. If they want to... But once move, again, it all depends on the DM. Yeah. You can't shit in the DM if he doesn't want it in his game. <laughs> you know, know the fucking tone understand the yeah. setting what's going on around you if the other guys are playing this then exactly I don't know just don't be dicks guys <laughs> yeah just don't be dicks that's pretty much what it comes to <laughs> first com- first guy was beast using a shit part should shit parachute parachute or slingshot slingshot <laughs> this guy's on beast he is blue pilled and cringe <laughs> play 5th edition 40k circa 2010 extremely casual game have a close combat unit with an independent character attached to it. Independent character is in front row, ready to fight. Assault with my unit, hastily put my minis. Don't really care about placement. My independent character happens to be 2.000005 inches from the assault unit. Don't know obscure rule where independent character attached to a unit can't attack in close combat if he's somewhat too far, 2 inches, from assault unit. I can't remember. I haven't played. I, I last last edition I played was seventh, so mm. I couldn't tell you. Asked through the dices, that guy reaches for the rule book and check obscure rule. Ha! Gotcha. Says that guy. You can't hit me with your par claw because obscure rule. I was always cool with him, but that time I made him understand he was going too far. Anyway, he tries. Can we set this disagreement with a roll of dice? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've came across that a few times. Like for the most part, I'm pretty ca- casual. I like if you let me do it, I'll let Some you. people are unforgiven with the I'm measurements. A, I'm, 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 I don't mind it. It depends on who you're playing with. Yeah. For me personally, like if I'll, that, I'll let shit slide if you let me. Yeah. Let, if you're that far right, it's not that bad. No. Like literally, like. A millimeter, couple if, of millimeters out. If 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 they're noticeably different, though, it can be a bit oh, like it's really awkward. I've gone into this too many times yeah. talking about placement of models, and people get really autistic about it. <laughs> like I mean, hyper autistic when it comes to oh, you can't reach me. That you're just out of, and like you know, you're mm. just out of range with like half an inch, and it's like oh, mate, come on, <laughs> what know. are you playing at? Mind you, I did play Dark Elder, so you know the jink rule is bullshit. And <laughs> yeah, jink. Jank, jank. Yeah, I'm the crown of jank. Yeah, you need sex to tap me there. Jank, <laughs> jank. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 it was bullshit. But it's the only, like, it pretty much, the jingle was the only thing that had Dark Elder or any form of armor just yeah. by not hitting them. Because if you hit it, it's going to die. You just get glanced to death. Yeah. Hey, guys. Do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do, too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do, too. <laughs> <laughs> we got... Human biddies, we got lizard biddies, we got orc biddies, oni biddies, cat bussies, we've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below, it helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on the story. I played a more or less retarded dwarf for the purposes of taking the piss out of our GM's over involved setting. This included a rather hasty inclination to grudges particularly against those that implied anything remotely derogatory against dwarves. I mean, I like, th- you know, I like, think we're, that's we're, pretty fucking normal, though, like, you know, for dwarves. Like, who hasn't? Like, you know, let's be honest. Everyone knows dwarves are hyper racist. Like, hyper, like, you know, yeah. if dwarves supremacy, uh, supremacy See, isn't... It's a thing. I know, it is like, a thing. Let's be serious. 
dwarves don't like anyone that's not a dwarf. They're very missed. Well, maybe maybe it's because I think too much of like warmer fancy dwarves. And no, I think it's like just that. dwarves in general. I, how, how do you guys do your dwarves? Do you guys have your dwarves like this? Do you use in my them? mind? Dwarves are very stereotypical towards other. Any races. any any other race there, uh-huh. they consider them lesser than. Like yeah. yo, no dwarves. We've got the best craftsmen. We got the best minds. Mind, we, we got, got all. Best, we got all of our best. stuff. It's amazing. Uh-huh. Your stuff, mm, it's nice, but mm, it's it's just not on par. Uh-huh. You know, and that's kind of what and I imagine. And whenever they have to help, like another race, yeah, it's and, like the end of the world. Yeah, they they're not going to go out of their way to help no, people. No, generally speaking, no, dude. If there's something involved for them again very greedy mm-hmm. I would like you know you can't uh, for me dwarves one of them yeah but things. I don't think you can play a dwarf without being greedy and arrogant and just all round a bit dick. of a dick yeah uh-huh. anyway look, let's keep going with that that was a bit of a side tangent and this went pretty much where you'd think insult innkeeper innkeeper has security that makes my dwarf look more foolish than he already was dwarf becomes enraged and advise vengeance begins the ask around regarding the innkeeper's habits and home. DM politely insists that he keeps to himself and doesn't go out much. I more or less drop the matter. Get death saved for the third or fourth time this campaign. Die for the third time this campaign. All previous characters seem to piss off an NPC some way or another before death. Game falls apart shortly after. I was that guy. I can't blame my DM for letting smarmy characters walk into their own deaths. I just wish it had been a little more climactic than that. Well, you see, that's your problem. You know, you're letting yourself walk into them. You're taking NPCs bullshit. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to be like, look, Sometimes NPC, you just have to watch off. And bitch slap the NPC. <laughs> and just, or just like, just leave it, you know? Yeah. I know, I know, like, nasty NPCs is a bit of a troop at this stage. Yeah. But, you know, like, don't let yourself get bogged down by that type of bullshit. Yeah. You know, like and they're the only, they're, they should only be there for a short time. Anyway, and like, so. you know, it is like for me, for me personally, when it comes to character death, I do like to have a good character death, uh-huh. especially if you play on a character for a fair amount of time. Yeah, and get killed by an NPC. See, no, but see if they just get killed by like random bandit number 5057. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? And that's, that's kind of a, oh, I know. Are we really doing this? You know, if you die during a boss fight, I think it's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy, but like, that's maybe my views on it. What's yours? Let's know. How do you view character death? Filming games at a store for an advert for them as part of a uni degree to find work by myself for coursework in second year. One night filming cringe as fuck vampire game. I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only, I can imagine. only imagine. Like I'm sorry, but this this sounds like it's not going to work out. No. The idea of like recording an advert for a game store. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, For please. me, you need to, like, hyper-edit it. You need to, like, over-edit it. Like, it needs to be, like, uh, what do you call that over-edited porn? Blazers, or whatever the fuck yes. you call it. Or, like, you know, like that hyper-oversaturated yes. with shitty, like, you know, and all these different camera angles. Yeah. And, like, you know, loads of memes and, like, you know, just make it <laughs> yes. over the top. I think you could do it like that. Obese woman in polka dot dress. Problem glasses and candy red lipstick. The full cliché sits and eats two family-sized buckets of KSC. And violently shits herself. <laughs> wait, wait, does she actually? No, she doesn't actually. Everyone shit abandons a store that instantly gets filled with this hot humidi- humidity mm-hmm. that makes brown water run down the closed windows. What? Uh, no, she, no, she didn't. So bad the store is shut down and moves three streets no, away. No, that there's no way. No, this is bullshit. To this day, that high street shop is closed, and if you look through the dusty window, the right size. <laughs> of the store has this brown mouldy stain on the floorboards where mushrooms grow all year round. She understandably never returned but they speak of her now as the KF Beast. <laughs> I don't think Absolutely this happened. Absolutely not. I, no. don't, I, don't, I, don't I think, call bullshit. I call bullshit. But I do want it to be true. I want there so to be. I, I of... want there to be like this radioactive mushroom that grows there. I a want. I, 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 I want this, and maybe it's haunted. Yes, it's you know what? This could be like, like it's haunted by all the farts of the future past. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want this to be true. Though. You know what? Actually, if you were to play a campaign like IRL, like a real like game uh-huh. just set in like our universe, uh-huh. this could be like the. Clear out the rats in the in cellar. Oh yeah, sort of mission if that makes sense. Yeah, you no. know you have to go. Oh, you need to cleanse the local game store of its uh, the, the notorious the KFC beast. <laughs> the 
Ugarks below. The KF beef. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you have to go, like, guard out. You get some, like, KFC on a fishing line and shit. And you have to... <laughs> You have to present an offering to it, maybe. Uh, or maybe if you want, you can maybe work on a deal with it. Maybe to get move its layer. You know, you cut, it, you slice it open. It's just KFC gravy. Yeah. No blood, just gravy. Yeah, something like that. Recent, as in last Monday. Running dark sun, rebellion of tear. Regular group, good guys. Get a call an hour before game, asking if I mind if a dude crashes on my couch while everyone else plays. Sure. Wife is working tonight, and kid has Fortnite shit to do with his friends. Start session, player with friend comes in late. Motherfucker is wearing a cape. Motherfucker is wearing flip flops. Motherfucker goes straight to my fridge and deep throats my grapefruit juice without asking. What the fuck is this? Ask. I'm sorry, but see if someone wears a cape. See if someone, like, you know. See if you didn't already say, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to dress up for this session, you yeah. know, bit of role play and all that. See if this is just casual attire. <laughs> sort your life out. It is. No, he's not playing. He's sleeping uh, on the sofa. Yeah. Well, he's not going to sleep on the sofa. He's just going to sit there. No, it said if he can sleep. All right, okay. Well, let's keep going with this. Oh no, he just said crashes. All Never right, mind. We'll keep... Ask what the fuck count. He gets embarrassed, goes into guest bathroom. Bolt flip flops, spazzing out like an artist trying to drink ice cream before it melts. What? His friend tries to explain that his parents kicked him out. Motherfucker, we're in our oh, 30s. What? Yeah. I said loud enough so that the count could hear it in the bathroom. Dude drops more spaghetti and starts crying. Tell him he needs to get the fuck out. He takes his friend's keys and tries to play it off. Goes and sits in the car for three hours by himself while we play. Wife gets home, tells me some dude is smoking a pipe in a car <laughs> 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 Motherfucker. Tell dude he needs to bring his crackhead bro out of my neighborhood. He apologizes and leaves. Group chat has been dead since. They <laughs> think the Count Crackula <laughs> killed my game. <laughs> Count Crackula. Oh, that's quality. That's quality. Oh, fuck me. I have no words for that, you know, Sophia. I want that one to be real now. That one, that I one, that has that to be to real. Be real. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Be me. Forever DM. Roped into running yet another D&D game at a con. Pull one of my old one-shot runs from my trusty gaming folder. Get a grip going. Most of the players are in costumes. Enter that guy. Must have been about three of them under it for that guy just to move. Kinda looked like a Godzilla with dines, but with but was super detailed. Party meets at a port town tavern with a pirate problem. Party meets with the mayor about the job and starts working on the details. Mayor asks if they'll need a boat. That guy proudly exclaims that they can just ride on him. What? Does this guy think his character is what his costume is? <laughs> Fuck it. Push on. Work out the last of the details and the party gets ready to set out. I call a 10 minute break so they can go get snacks or soda and get back to the table. That guy lumbers up to me and says he left his wallet in his room and asks if he could borrow a little of me. I sigh and ask how much. He says, by 350. (laughs) (laughs) At this point I realise that guy was about 17 (laughs) stories tall and a crustacean (laughs) from the middle. <laughs> I said, I ain't got no three fitty Loch Ness monster. <laughs> now I'm Loch Ness monster, even trying to ruin my dual top cons, trying to get my tree fitty. <laughs> no! No! How can he keep getting away with this? How can he keep getting away with us, Megan, know. every time? <laughs> So I think that's where we're going to end it. Yeah. I have to ask, how does Loch Ness Monster keep doing this? How could they like keep Sam getting Hyde. Footy? He's like Sam Hyde at this no. point. Just don't get it. Well, look, anyway, anyway, look, as always, uh, leave your comments down below. We did ask quite a few questions in this one because there was quite a few things up in the yeah. air. Um, leave also, your comments, check the links. Oh, check out the links. Also, we might be doing a live stream tonight. Yes. Uh, we've so been stay sweating tuned. absolute if fuck out want, of Yeah, if you want to watch the live stream. Remember to hit the notification bell. We have been sweating um, the fuck. Valheim. It's Valheim. so good. Honest to God, guys. You guys haven't <laughs> like, played honestly. it. Like, it's got nothing to do with tabletop games, but it's genuine. I don't I like survival games. I don't like survival. I don't even like Minecraft. No. I know you, a lot of you guys are going to hate me for that, but I don't like Minecraft. It gives me motion sickness. <laughs> yes. I, I, I don't like this, it very much. This, this is, this is so beast. 
It's a really fun one. We have just f- killed the second boss. Yeah, it's, me and not Megan gonna are just, let you. I'm not gonna like give it away what the bosses are. But we've we've fought the second one. We just killed him. Um, we look. We're going places. We don't know exactly what we're gonna do for the live stream. We're probably just gonna keep playing what we've been playing. Mm-hmm. And if we're feeling it. We might make a new server and let, and let you, a couple you, of you guys in if you, to play with us. If you guys are feeling to mess it. about. So, yeah, hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post and whenever we're go- doing the live stream later. Check out the links, the models, the t-shirts, the subclasses. Check out my channel while you're there. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>